Okay, alright. So, hello, dears. <laughs> so, hello and hi, hi, hello. Kamusta, kamusta. I hope you're all doing fine. Okay. So, hello and again. Welcome to another pre-recorded lecture in our class in immunology and serology. And for this lecture, what we're going to talk about now is the rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, alright. So, um, we'll talk about the serology of rheumatoid arthritis. Again, an autoimmune disease. Ayan. So, uh, we're starting now, no? Uh, we were just going to discuss <laughs> this one autoimmune disease in our lab. And the rest of your autoimmune diseases is a lecture na. Alright? Okay, so you may be wondering, sir, um, what's rheumatoid arthritis? No? Actually, there are a lot of arthritis. <laughs> arthritis says, there are a lot of arthritis or different types of arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis is one of that. Okay? Um, as far as I can remember, we have three types. No, Maybe I'm na lost. No? Sorry naman. But <laughs> what I remember is the three types of arthritis you have uh, the first one is osteo, osteoarthritis. Okay, I think this is the arthritis that you are common or that you are aware of. No, it's the arthritis that occur when the synovial joints, no, the joints, uh, they run out of fluid already. Wala na yung synovial fluid. Na lubricate sa duha ka joints. All right, sa cartilages. All right. So what happens is uh, munipis ang cartilage. Okay, so munipis ang cartilage. Hence, uh, it results to the um, erosion in a way and the uh, surface to surface uh, friction there of the bones when moving all right that is why it's painful so that's a type of arthritis known as osteoarthritis osteoarthritis okay if I'm not mistaken huh the next one is your gouty arthritis or gout arthritis okay so I'm sure, no, may basi na discuss na sa clean chem, sana naman. <laughs> so this is an arthritis brought about by the deposition of your gout on the different joints, especially sa mga fingers, no, sa tiil, sa toes, no, sa big toe, sa kilid sa big toe and all that. And that's still painful. So again, this is caused by, unsa man, unsa na analyte ang increase. Nako, dapat press the buzzer, increased uric acid. Ayan, so taas na uric acid. Okay, because of increased uric acid, your uric acid, too much uric acid, uh, will precipitate out of your uh, bloodstream, out of your system, and will become crystals, no, will solidify siya, and these crystals will be deposited in your joints. Okay, so kana mga gabutod butod sa inyong uh, mga parents ba or mga uncle, tita, yes, na mga medyo gores na, <laughs> okay, um, na, na sakit daw, no, magbutod sa ilahang tiil, usually sa big toe, yun. Uh, and then sakit iliho, that is due to uh, taas siya uric acid, then that is gout. That's what we say, that's what we call gout, okay? Again, that, those are deposition of, in, of increased or excess uric acid in your bloodstream, okay? And sakit siya, okay? Sakit siya iliho, all right? Because again, they are deposited in the joints, so lisod iliho because of these crystals, depositions of increased uric acid or excess uric acid in your joints, okay? And the third type is, of course, your RA, or rheumatoid arthritis. And rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. Okay? Alright, and that's what we're going to talk about now. Alright, okay, so, ayan, medyo, ano guys, no, medyo, I'm not feeling 100% fine physically and emotionally. But, uh, yeah, so I'll try my best to still have the energy and uh, the uh, humor, in a way, para malayuli atong discussion. Okay, so, Yes, I'm doing my best. So, I hope I get lang Japan at the end of the lecture. Again, I think this is quite a sh short lecture din naman. All right. So, we'll start first with your epidemiology, okay? So, epidemiology um, worldwide, no, it affects all races, but generally women have a higher incidence, okay? Or mas taas sila o chances to to develop this disease than men, okay? I think that's because of genetics and all that. All right. And um it affects people 35 to 50 years old, but may occur at any age. Sa inyo, Stevens, na fourth edition, the pinaka recent, na fourth, ah, pinaka recent na fourth, pinaka recent na edition sa Stevens, it usually affects daw 25 to 55 years old na mga people. All right? And it affects about 0.5 to 1.0, 0. 0.5 to 1% of the adult population ang nagka RA, okay, or nagka rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. And aside from that, it occurs in first-degree relatives of patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Ayan. So if you have a family member who has no rheumatoid arthritis or your family is known to, to develop this disease, then 
gen generally, no, or <laughs> then it's most likely then that you will develop, all right, but a first degree, okay? So it's familial, it's, it's inherited, okay? All right, ayan. And for women daw, it's highly, highly, highly um, prevalent, no, or highly uh, high ang chance, okay, for women greater than 65 years old daw, uh, to develop this disease, okay? Alright, so it's generally women good ang ma-target. So kayo, mga women dyan, mga besties natin, na mga ETA girls, yes? So pag-ask na mo sa inyong family history, ha? Sa inyong family, if you have mga history, mga inyong mga tita, mga lola, no, mga first degree, cousins, whatever, basta family, na na history of um, RA, okay? So para at least ma-aware ma mo, alright? Okay, ayan. And then, uh, persons with HLA-DR4 have a significantly higher incidence of RA. Now, this HLA, guys, or uh, what we know, what, what it means is your human uh, leukocyte antigen. Okay. Um, so, I'll... Ako nang ipaubaya ni Ma'am Teddy ha sa pag-discuss sa MHC and HLA. Uh, because kini MHC, HLA, they're quite uh, very... They're connected. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave that to Ma'am Teddy kaya medyo, medyo complicated siya i-discuss sa lab basin kulangan tag time. Alright, okay. But HLA is just part of your body. No? It's an antigen. Okay. And we have a lot of HLA. Okay. And these, L, these, and these HLA or leukocyte antigens, usually, if you have this in your body, na ay different types of HLA, na if you have this HLA in your body, you are predisposed, meaning you are prone to develop a certain disease. Okay, example, HLA-DR4 for uh, rheumatoid arthritis, na po yung HLA-DR3 uh, for diabetes mellitus. You have, of course, the very popular HLA-B27 uh, for ankylosing spondylitis. Okay, so again, these are just mga, ano guys ha? Oh my God, hindi ko sa spelling. I think it's double L or one L, but anyway, <laughs> that's the point. Uh, this is you, these are antigens found in your body. Usually, that can be inherited, and uh, they cause no. If you have these types of HLA in your alleles, in your alleles, or your uh, sa genes niyo, then you are predisposed, meaning you are prone to this type of disease. Okay, all right. So that's genetic makeup, not all right. So again, it's Mam Teddy na na I'll, uh, to further elaborate, ha? But I'm just giving you some examples of the. Uh, predisposing conditions uh, related to specific HLA. So, example, HLA DR3, again, for diabetes mellitus, if I'm not mistaken, ha? And HLA B27, very, uh, very common, very popular, very specific, na kung sa boards. HLA B27, that's for Prasdobazur ankylosing spondylitis. Okay, that's a disease. Alright, now, again, same with uh, RA, HLA DR4, and for, uh, according to Stevens, again, the fourth edition, kay kanisha, gi kanisha sa third edition sa Stevens, uh, HLA DRB1. Ayan. So, muni daw ang HLA na alil, alright? Na if makita sa gene sa patient or sa, sa nimo, then you are predisposed or you are prone to developing this kind of disease. Alright? So, DR4 or kanin DRB1. Okay. So, patients or people with that HLA, then naas. If nasla na na HLA, then they are significantly higher or significantly uh, prone, okay, to develop this disease. All right. Okay. Now, we go now deeper into the, the disease. Okay. So, what is it? Of course, RA is, again, an autoimmune disorder. Systemic. Okay. So, when you say systemic, so, we'll, um, sana, we'll divide. We'll divide the two words first. You have systemic. When, when you mean systemic, it affects... Um, the entire body, okay? It's not only one organ because we have autoimmune diseases, guys, that are organ-specific. So, when you say organ-specific, usara ka organ yang target. So, example, mga thyroid, um, autoimmune diseases, mga Hashimoto's, mga, um, sa pana, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, you have my, huh? you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, um, um, malimot ko sa osa, Basta Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and other diseases sa imuhang, ah, Graves' disease, yes, Graves' disease. Those are targeting lang your um, thyroid gland. Again, that's, a, that's an example of an organ-specific uh, autoimmune disease. But for RA, it's a systemic. Okay, when you see systemic, it affects, again, all throughout the body. It affects the other parts, more than one organ of the body. So, example, and as RA, you also have SLE. Ayan, you have systemic. Oh, di ba na sa pangalan na? <laughs> Lupus. Ay, 
nakikita. Lupus, erythematosus. Erythematosus. Okay, ayan. So, that's another example of systemic. And of course, when you say autoimmune, these are diseases that damage the organs or your tissues or your healthy cells brought about by autoantibodies, okay, maybe autoantibodies or um, T cells, okay? It's basically your immune system is attacking your own <laughs> uh, cells. All right, so what is an autoimmune disease or what is autoimmunity? All right, so this term, so dili ako i i further, guys, ha? again, si Ma'am Teddy na <laughs> sa inyong lecture, you'll you'll discuss this thoroughly in the lecture. Ano lang siya, overview lang. So for autoimmune diseases, by the name itself, no, it was first coined by our best si Paul Ehrlich. Nako, bumabalik na naman siya. Okay, galing sa compliment, di ba? So si Paul Ehrlich coined the term, ayan, horror autotoxicus. Ayan, di ba? So siya yung naka-discover ani una. Horror autotoxicus, which literally translates to the fear of self-poisoning. Ayan. So may fear ka ba niyan, guys? Our fear of falling in love and not being reciprocated back. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Poisoning. Okay. That's the literal translation. Okay. So, that's start, no? The humble beginnings of your autoimmune diseases. Now, by the name itself, autoimmune, no? So, generally, di ba, ang immune system nato, ang ilad yung target are foreign antigens. Okay. But, we also have antigens within our body that are found on different cells, on different parts of our body. But your immune system has this capability that is known as your tolerance. Okay. So, sana all makatolerate it by Taylor Swift. Char. Okay, tolerance. Okay. So, do you tolerate me or do you accept me? Chara. Okay, drama. Okay. Tolerance. But the name itself, when you, say, when you say tolerance, your immune system can decipher, can distinguish between the foreign antigens and between the self-antigens. And because of that, they do not attack your self-antigens, your normal cells, your healthy cells. Because again, they know na dili na siya maong kalaban. Okay? Alright, because of this capability known as tolerance. In your autoimmune diseases, this capability is uh, destroyed or nawala. Okay? Or they lose the ability to uh, decipher between self-antigens and foreign antigens. Therefore, bahala kinsan antigens na uh, no, wala na sila kabalo. Wala na sila kabalo kung kinsay, kinsay tinuod, kinsay gabinuang ra nila, <laughs> or kinsay, <laughs> kinsay ga, um, kinsay ga, uh, ga take advantage ra, charot, bitaw. They don't know anymore. They cannot distinguish between the self and the non-self. Okay? So, munang iyang i-attack po, appeal mo ang healthy cells. So, in a nutshell, in an overview, that is uh, the concept of autoimmune diseases, okay? May it be because of na production of autoantibodies, all right? Or there is um, destruction of other cells by the other cells in the immune system like your T cells, okay? All right. <laughs> That's, in a nutshell, your, the concept of autoimmunity. All right. Now, we go now to your um, symptoms, no? Or like the characterizations or characteristics of your disease. Number one is, of course, chronic symmetric and erosive arthritis of peripheral joints. So, peripheral meaning uh, sa mong extremities. Chronic meaning long-term. No? Sana all long-term. Chronic. Symmetric, which means if one side has the arthritis, and the other side should also have it. So, symmetric. Because again, kung unsay naa sa pikas, dapat naapod ang pikas. Symmetric. Alright? Both sides of your um, example joints. So, example sa hands. If naa dere arthritis, dapat naapod dere. Symmetric. Okay, alright. And erosive, meaning your bones are, are, you know, degraded. They are being eroded. Okay? Alright, ayan. And aside from that, there can also be cardiovascular and respiratory involvement. And because of that, there is a reduced life expectancy and the nature is progressive. Meaning, paspas iyahang pag progress, in a way. So, paspas mo develop ang disease, paspas pas mo worsen, in a way. So, dapat mas important na madiagnose siya as early as possible. And the greatest or strongest environmental risk factor daw is those patients that um, smoke cigarettes. Okay? So, cigarette smoking is dangerous for your health chart. <laughs> cigarette smoking is the greatest uh, environmental factor. Okay? Cigarette smoking is considered to be the greatest, greatest environmental factor, risk factor for your RA. So if ikaw bayi pa ka, na take smoke ka, and then greater than 65 years old, yes, press the buzzer, guys. Very high risk of having RA. Okay, so nasa yula lahat, three in one, di ba tanang mga, mga chances, women, woman, 
old age, nag-smoke pag yun ka, di ba? Pak, nasa yun na ang lahat. <laughs> Leads to um, RA, chronic RA, or development of the rheumatoid arthritis. But still the same, uh, the cause of RA remains unknown. Okay? So it means it's idiopathic. Wala ka kabalo kung asagikan. Alright? Pares niya. Charot. Wala ka kabalo asagikan or unsay cause yun. It could be genetic predisposition and all that, but generally the cause is not known pag yun. Okay? Alright, ayan. Um, the most frequent cause of death, cardiovascular disease. Okay, so, because again, I think um, later we'll know that your, um, your RA, mangod is an inflammatory condition. Chronic inflammation, mangod siya, sige. Then, di ba? Uh, when there is chronic inflammation, on sa taas, your acute phase reactant, so CRP and all that. So, therefore, when the inflammation is increased, or sige, padayo ng inflammation, so sige na ay CRP, na ay acute phase reactants, it can lead also to the development of mga coronary heart disease, okay? and ma-affected ang other organs. Hence, frequent death, uh, cause of death, car cardiovascular disease. All right. Other causes of mortality, you have septicemia, pneumonia, lung abscess, and pyelonephritis. So, it's systemic. It can affect other types of the body, other parts of the body. All right. Because again, maybe it's primarily due to the inflammatory um, nature, chronic inflammatory nature of your RA. Okay. All right. Ayan. Okay. Now, we go now to your clinical manifestations. Uh, Non-specific symptoms, meaning... Delicious specific good for the disease by the name itself um, because it's, it's the symptoms that other diseases may have also. So, non specific, you have malaise. Ah, malaise. Tama o malaise? Charot. <laughs> Mark, yes, we will change na tayo. Ha? Okay, all right. Ta tama o malaise anon. Malaise, all right. Fatigue, fever, weight loss, transient joint pain that begins in the small joints of the hands and feet. So, when you say transient, delicious sigi. Okay, murag. Mag magsakit karon, then after a while, mawala na po. Rinana. Transient. Maragog siya, transient yung feelings. Oops! Oh, jeez. Wow, Mark. Okay. All right. Anyway, transient joint pain. So, again, dili continuous. So, na I, like one day, sakit ka ayo. The next day, dili na po. Wow. Joint pain pa ba to Mark? Okay. All right. And small joints of the hands, usually, and feet. All right. And joint involvement progresses to larger joints in symmetric fashion. So, knees, hips, elbows. Knee, and sana, knees. Toes, di ba naman na sa Coco Melon, joke na. <laughs> Alright. Knees, hips, elbows, shoulders, and the cervical spine. So from smaller joints and then into larger joints. So from small to big or to large joints. So symmetric, meaning magsugod diri, like one side na anay pain, dapat sa pika side po na ay pain. Okay, that's symmetric. Meaning kung unsay naas pikas, dapat naas sa pikas po, mahitabo. Alright. And then, it then progresses to the other joints. Okay. Both sides pa rin, kay symmetric man. Alright? Okay, na may, na may uban, like your gout arthritis or your osteoarthritis na. Example sa knee, sa osteoarthritis, one knee is affected, one knee. One knee is affected, but the other knee is free or wala siya arthritis. So, muna siya murag, in, a, in a way, defining feature of your rheumatoid arthritis. Symmetric ang imong arthritis. Meaning, pika side, naa, dapat ang other side po naa. Alright? So, what you, what you have here, Dapat na apud dere speakers, all right. So if magarthritis dere, dapat na arthritis dere. Okay, ayan. All right, symmetric, symmetric. All right, joint pain leads to muscle spasm, resulting in permanent joint deformity. And about 20% of the patients have no deal. So na mga masses over the bones, which can also be found in the heart, lungs, spleen, and larynx. So na mga no uh, Again, these are this could be kanang um, uh, accumulation of mga cells immune system cells because again of the inflammation that's happening so nangamatay ang cells after you know releasing cytokines and all that stuff so um, they they die you no know, and then they accumulate and then they can form the nodules i think in a way all right so again these are just masses mga small masses okay nodules all right ayan now other systemic symptoms anemia formation of subcutaneous nodules still the same so makita siya sa imong skin Pericarditis, inflammation of the pericardium. Lymph adenopathy, so your lymph nodes will increase also. Splenomegaly, increasing of the spleen. Interstitial lung disease and vasculitis or inflammation of your blood vessels. And we have this Felty syndrome, no? Uh, it's an RA type of, it's a chronic rheumatoid arthritis, but this time it's coupled now with neutropenia, so uh, decrease among neutrophils, splenomegaly, and possibly thrombocytopenia. So mga complications na. All right? Okay. All right, that's for Felty syndrome. Okay, all right. So, uh, these are some clinical manifestations. First is, of course, bone erosion and displacement, meaning 
ng apudpud na yung bones, no? Which leads to osteoporosis, okay? And then after a while, mabungkag na yung bones, okay? Bone erosion and displacement. You also have the rheumatoid nodules, ayan. So those are subcutaneous, kay makitaan man siya. You also have symmetric arthritis, ayan. So na-deform ang bones din eh. Sa pika side po, na-deform, di ba? Alright, because again, there are some arthritis, akong example, di ba? Na diri lang na uh, joints ang affected, pero ang pika's hand, wala. So, that's again defining for rheumatoid arthritis na symmetric siya. Okay, alright. And of course, synovial membrane inflammation and cartilage loss. So, mag-start yun siya sa joints. Okay, but uh, the most common cause of death is not of the joints, but because of cardiovascular involvement. So, na disease na noon sa cardiovascular disease. Now, what, why does bone erosion happen? Uh, recall again that diba, your rheumatoid arthritis is inflammatory in nature. Na chronic inflammatory nature niya. So what happens is because of the cytokines, diba, in inflammation, cytokines are released. The cytokines that are involved in the immunological process, which is later atong may balang kinsa ng mga cytokines, the cytokines also overly activate your osteoclasts. Okay. All right. Recall in your, yes, basic bio, MT13, human anatomy and fat. Yes. <laughs> diba? In the bones, we have the osteoblasts and the osteoclasts. Diba? But the name itself, blasts, formation. No? Formation of new bones. And for clasts, for breakdown. Because again, in normal circumstances, the number of osteoblasts is equal to the number of osteoclasts. Because again, um, the formation of new bones okay, and also the destruction of old bones are part of the normal process of the bone remodeling and bone repair and all that. All right? But in rheumatoid arthritis, because of increased cytokines brought about by inflammation, okay, the number of osteoclasts is increased. Therefore, the ganmang osteoclasts, so it leads now to bone erosion or pag pat patay sa bones, okay, in a way, or pagkapudpud sa bones. All right? So the osteoblasts in number, dili nakaapa sa kadagan sa osteoclasts, Therefore, it then leads to bone erosion and displacement. All right, okay. Now, for the next part of the video, I was really thinking <laughs> na mahuman ako sa one video lang na lecture. But sige lang, dami kong kasing chika, dami kong hugots. But anyway, sige na lang, good. Pagbigyan nyo na ako. This is where I'm happy. Charat! <laughs> okay, all right. So, in the next part of the video, we're going now to discuss the immunologic findings and eventually the laboratory test <laughs> that we can use to detect uh, or diagnose in a way your art. RA. Alright, so I'll see you on the next video, dearest. Okay. <laughs>